Hi, this is Jim Toll recording in our studio in San Jose, California. We introduced two new series of IR receivers in 2018, the TSOP1 and the TSOP9 series. Because the receiver portfolio is getting large, this presentation should help simplify the choice for new designs. But before we get to that, I do want to point out that Vichet Opto Electronics includes not only IR receivers for remote control, but optocouplers to provide safety isolation and discrete infrared emitters and photo detectors, as well as optical sensors, both analog and digital. But today we're going to dive into the IR receiver portfolio. The complete IR receiver portfolio can be a bit mesmerizing. There's a lot of different parts, six different AGCs, and up to four different ICs. The XX suffix to each part is the modulation frequency, and we support 30, 33, 36, 38, 40, and 56 kilohertz frequencies. For new designs, we suggest focusing on one through-hole part, two surface mount parts, and just three AGCs. And before we go any further, it's important to note that we have no plans to discontinue any of the parts from the larger portfolio. So we're recommending the mini mold for through hole package receivers. Why the mini mold? First, it has a complete spherical lens versus a pill shaped lens of the mini cast. All things being equal, customers prefer the horizontal and vertical directivity to be the same. So that put Minicast off the list. The Mini Mold has better optical performance than the Mold package. The narrower optical band F filter is available in the Mini Mold. And finally, with shortened leads, the Mini Mold can be surface mounted versus wave soldered. Our Wi Fi testing shows the TSOP1 series performs best, meaning no spurious pulses on the output when in close proximity to a 2.4 or 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi antenna. Because of this and the fact that the TSOP1 series has slightly better performance across our complete library of fluorescent lights, we recommend the TSOP1 mini mold receivers for new designs. One last difference between the TSOP1 and TSOP9 series that you might need to consider is the operating voltage. The TSOP9 series only operates to a maximum of 3.6 volts, while the TSOP1 series operates up to 5.5 volts. Our data sheets include a table showing the list of available receivers. In Superscript, we show what AGC and frequency is appropriate for each remote control code. For example, the TSOP1-3336 has a superscript 1. This corresponds to RCMM. So if you're using RCMM code, you should choose this part. For common remote control codes, we've taken the guesswork out of it. If you're using a code not mentioned in the table, please contact our technical support team for assistance to find the best part. A link for support is at the bottom of the data sheet. Data sheets for all our IR receivers can be found at vichet.com slash IR dash receiver dash modules. Data sheets are grouped by package type and by remote control codes. Many customers need holders to position the through hole receivers in a specific location. The link to the holders is in the upper right corner, along with a link to bends and cuts that are available. I hope this will help you choose the best receiver for your new design. If you have any questions, please contact me at jim.toll at and thank you for taking the time to listen.